Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing Busy Art's newest eyeshadow releases, and that is their brand new Edits palettes. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these two, then just keep watching. So I've had these palettes for a few days now. I've been playing around with them a lot just because I wasn't so sure on my opinions on these. I had some mixed feelings, but I think now I'm finally ready to talk about them and I feel sure enough in my opinions on them. So Viseart just released last week two new little mini eyeshadow palettes. We have the Warm Edits here and the Rosé Edit right here. These are so cute. They are tiny. So just compared to my phone, as you can see, they are smaller than my phone. And compared to the Petite Pro, they are only slightly bigger. So both of these contain 12 shades. They are available right now on beautylish.com and they are $39 each. Initially with that price, I was very excited. I felt like $39 for all of these eyeshadows was a fair price, especially for Viseart. Their regular full-size eyeshadow palettes are about $80, um, and these eyeshadow pans are significantly smaller, but I know for somebody like me who doesn't use up all their eyeshadows because I own too many, this is perfect. A little less money for a little bit more different colors. I'm here for this, and it's just so dang tiny. I always talked about how I was going to travel with these, but nope. Now I'm going to travel with these because these have even more colors, and they're still basically just a small. So I'm just going to talk about each palette individually. So we are going to start off with the Rosé Edit because this is the one I was most excited for and I have to say I was a little bit disappointed when I first opened it up but I forgot to mention the packaging of these both is the same just a different color but it's just the classic Vizzy Art packaging. You get a mirror and these do pop out. So the Rosé Edit designs romantic looks on the go. This travel friendly version of Vizzy Art's full-sized eyeshadow palettes. So the idea of both of these palettes is that they're travel size and they contain some of Viseart's more popular colors from their previous palette. So this palette is a curated edit of romantic shades from the Tris palette, the Grande Pro 1, and Siren eyeshadow palettes. So basically they created kind of a vibe, a rosé vibe, with the romantic shades that are already in their line. This particular palette has five existing shades and the other seven are brand new. So this one you're not getting too, too many repeats, but I think they are a great layout. I will say when I first looked at this though, I was disappointed because I was hoping this was a little bit more rosy and pinky and bright and vibrant. Um, so for that reason, I was a little disappointed with this initially. Now what's interesting about this particular palette is that you can almost can split it in half which I think makes it easier to create a look, so you have more of a taupey look. Um, and I will insert a quick video of me doing a look using just this for an everyday kind of taupey look. I didn't show you the whole finished look because I'm dumb and forgot to. That was one day when I was playing with it, and I kept it almost more of a cool toned look. And then here you do have those fun colors for this rosé look, but I feel like if they're calling this a rosé palette, I want a little bit more pinks and purples in here, but that's just my personal opinion. So I'm just quickly going to go through the shades with you guys. Rendezvous is from the Tris palette. Ballet is from the Grande Pro 1 palette. Peony is brand new. Uh, this is Chocolate from the Neutral Mattes palette. We have Wisteria, which is new. Rosette, which is new. Cafe, this is from the Neutral Mattes. Peach, which is from the Neutral Mattes. Then we have Rosé, this is new. Blossom, this is new. Truffle, this is new, and Splendor, this is new. So upon initial application and the very first time that I played with this palette, I was highly, highly disappointed with it just because I felt like the shimmer quality-wise wasn't there. That's just kind of my initial reaction. I have definitely grown to like this palette a lot more. I just felt like the shimmers weren't as bright as the previous two palettes that they came out with. So these two palettes, the shimmers were crazy pigmented and crazy bright and they just weren't in this palette and I was kind of upset about it and I was like, oh no, I need to like trash this palette on the internet. But the more that I've used it, definitely the more that I like it. The majority of the shimmers here they aren't as bright and popping but I actually kind of have grown to love that I think it creates a really soft 
pretty romantic look on the eye and duh that is the whole vibe of this palette so if you do love this super shimmery pigmented shadows you may not like this but actually if you like that romantic soft look like they weren't lying this is a really romantic soft palette so that's the whole vibe of the palette I wasn't catching on at first but now that I've used this more I really do like these I think some of these shimmers work better layered over other colors but on their own they can be a little bit lacking but if you like that soft shimmery romantic look you will like this so I do like this I just thought it was going to be different but when I realized the intention of it I was like oh they did a good job with that like these are good quality <laughs> and the mattes of course are perfection I love Vizzy Art mattes they work just as great as they always have I almost feel like these can over blend just a tad bit to where it's just not as well bam pow as you initially applied it but they definitely build back up and it's not a big issue to fix so they are almost too blendable but they're so super good so i do really like this palette if you like soft romantic looks you will really like this one and these two colors right here by the way if you put them on the lid by themselves you get the most beautiful sh soft shimmery romantic look i love them now okay so next let's move into the warm edits and at first I was not excited about this because I was like, oh, yippee yay, another warm palette. But this one actually turned out to be uh, my favorite of the two. I really, really like this one. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the Apricotine palette that just came out. Just so you can see how these look side by side. They really did remind me of each other, but actually now looking at it, these are very, very different. And this almost looks more like the Rosé if you cut them in half. The Apricotine's actually closer to the rosé. But anyways, point being, at first I wasn't excited about this and now I am. It really just looks like a mini condensed version of the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona. So if you've been looking for a way to travel with your Sunset Palette, you actually might want to purchase this because this is really, really good. So this one, 8 of the 12 shadows are already in their regular line. I know to some of you that may be frustrating, but honestly, these are just smaller, more travel-friendly versions of those colors and I don't think that's a bad thing. I really do not. So this color is Honoree, which is a new shade. This is Saffron from the Warm Mattes. We have Burnt Gold from the Siren Theory palette. Earth from Grande Pro 2. This also, I remember, is an individual shadow that they're selling right now if you want a bigger pan of it. This is Apricot Nude from Grande Pro 1. Bronze Peach, this is new and I love this one. Nude Caramel, another really great color that's new. Chocolate, this is from the Grande Pro 1. This is also in the Rosé palette, huh. Then we have Moonstone, this is new. Circumin is from the Dark Mattes. Flame is from the Warm Mattes. And Mars is from the Grande Pro 2 palette. This one definitely has the least amount of new colors, but I just really love this palette. I think this plummy color is a really nice touch to the palette to kind of finish off that sunsetty vibe. This, of course, is what I used today, so I'm going to show you how I got this look. So I started off with the shade Saffron right here, and I applied that to the inner half of my eyelid and blended that into the inner half of my crease, of course, and then also the inner half of my lower lash line. Then I went in with this orange shade which is curcumin and I blended that in the middle part of my crease and then my lower lash line I mirrored that as well and then I took the shade flame and I applied that to the outer part of my lid and also of course blended that into the outer part of my crease to really create that gradient from yellow to orange to red very very warm I really liked it though and then I took the shade of bronze peach and I put that all over like the center of my lid just to brighten everything up and I have to say I really really like this color a lot I think it is super pretty I took the shade moonstone and that's what I use in my inner corner and yeah I mean overall I really really love this palette earlier today Today, I did a look using this burnt gold color and some of the mattes around this area. Again, it was really, really pretty. So yeah, I've used both of these palettes all together to create about seven different looks. Um, I've been playing a lot around with them. I just wanted to make sure my opinions were as accurate as possible. This palette, quality-wise, I think I like a little bit more than the rosé. I feel like the shimmers are a little bit more of how I like them. I just like the overall vibe of this palette better. So I, I truly do think both of these palettes are great and I think there's different ones for different types of people. If you like a little bit more cool tones, you'll definitely like rosé. If you like a little bit 
more soft looks again a rosé and if you're a warm girl the warm edits could not be more perfect for you so i know i'm looking a bit rough right now but i did want to make a little bit of an interruption so i filmed this video a few days ago and in these past few days i've actually received these palettes from Viseart. So the palettes in this video I did purchase myself, but Viseart was kind enough to send me these two palettes as well. So I just want to give back to you guys, and if you were interested in these two palettes, I am going to be giving them both away to one lucky person. So yeah, I just wanted to create a nice giveaway for my subscribers. No big announcement, just throwing it into this video for people who are genuinely interested in these palettes. I mean, if you've already made it this far into the video, I'm sure you are interested so to enter this giveaway all you have to do is be following me on instagram that is at morgan turner makeup because that is how i will contact you and then comment down below why you would like to win these two palettes so thank you guys so much for your support and this is just something small that i can do to give back to you so yeah, overall that's all I have to say about the Viseart Edit palettes. They are really beautiful, nice palettes from Viseart, and if you were looking for a great travel palette, you have found them. Now I will say I have been completely obsessed with their previous release of these two still to this day, and I will be very honest, I, I still like these two a little bit more, but I think these are better for travel just because you get more colors and it's still tiny. So these definitely do have a home here at my place. I hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope you found it helpful let me know if you will be picking these up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a great day